I'm Dan Watts and I'm the head teacher of the Woodruff School. We have 1,088 students here coming to us across three counties from Devon, Dorset and Somerset. From the concept of the project, it was our head of art, Richard Vine, that was responsible for introducing me to the idea. very good idea. I think there's lots of mileage in having screens that turn over multiple things throughout the course of the day that will inspire and you know, we've discussed the fact that it, it has the potential to become a platform to showcase not just the arts of, of people in industry but, but also students themselves and become a kind of national gallery, a national painting gallery, a national art making gallery for students that can be shared around the country which I think is really powerful. I think anything that we can do that brings another level of culture, diversity, inclusivity into everyday work within the school would be fantastic. And I think for the young people to be able to see, you know, quality pieces of art uh, from the past and from the present is a great opportunity. Actually bringing those great works of art into school I think is really, really positive. Yeah, we, we didn't really know until the art was shown. Um, I think the art's wonderful, so it's good that they've got art from students and art that can inspire students that's being shown around school. When they first went up that first day, it was a big point of focus for everyone in the school. Like, but art personally on there is not my go-to art, but there's things on there which I can look at and respect and go, that's, I, I like it. Even if it's, as a whole, it's not a piece of artwork which I typically go to. I definitely think it's a good thing. I mean, it, what better space to have it when people are eating and reflecting on their day and drinking and They'll be looking around the room, communicating with their friends and peers, and they'll see this artwork playing. And it draws attention, it makes them think about it, because they're given that space outside of their normal routine, outside of their normal cycle. And it draws attention and it makes them think about it, of course. It's not just like the same thing you see every day, it changes, so it's kind of, it keeps you interested in the art that's on the wall. The vast majority, even those who are not doing art, have had you know, positive things to say. We were tasked with creating a face swap or a different version of Napoleon Crossing the Alps, in my case is what I did. I had a few spare hours and I decided to jump onto Photoshop, pull in some different images, play around with puppet morphing and all of that and just compose a little image because why not? It's such an opportunity, why wouldn't I take that? <laughs> well, obviously having paintings or um, recreations famous art, obviously that can inspire students, but I feel as if it would be really influential if there were students art up because it would not re only represent the school but reflect the kind of values of the school. It's awesome to see what other people can do and what their potential is and inspire others. Yeah. I'd love to keep it, yeah. Actually bringing those great works of art into school I think is really, really positive. We're just completing our first pilot programme of Art in Schools and I must say I'm very excited with the results I've seen in the last two weeks. And based on discussions with the students and the staff and the, and the art department, I believe that the, this programme has the potential to transform art education and our goal is great art for all children all the time.